Hi everyone, this is Andy from Most of Delay. Today I will be showing you how to install my Bone Breaker add-on for Blender 2.8. Um, it now comes with two separate add-ons. So uh, you're going to go to Edit Preferences, click on the Add-ons tab, click on the Install button and locate the file that you downloaded from either Unreal or my website. Once you locate that zip folder, you're just going to click on install and the little checkbox to enable it to have the add-on come up. One of the main features now is going to be a redirection to my website that is to make available the new curves add-on, which you can also install in the very same way. Uh, we're going to install it right now and sh showcase that just a second. So once the add-on is installed, it will readily be available for you to completely uh, ins uh, import from uh, UE4 animations that include animation curves. Um, those animation curves are going to be available under the root armor uh, within the custom properties. Here are the values across the keyframes, which is kind of tiny here, but you should see them. They can be animated right here into this value, uh, into this keyframe section. Um, you can simply find a keyframe or a frame where you want to be, uh, type in a number for the animation value. I don't know, let's say negative 180, for instance. So if I want that to be the value at this keyframe, I'm just going to press the I button over it, or another way would be to, while the mouse is over it, right click it and insert a keyframe, which is going to be a, an option or replace it if it's already there. So this value will now transition rapidly between one and 180 because it is keyframed uh, in the earlier versions. So if we go into the animation tab, uh, and quickly change this to the graph editor just to see a graph. It should have a big spike on that last value. We can uh, actually just hide everything and enable just the curves to see them. And you can already kind of tell that one of them is spiking down, but it has other values. So say I wanted that to be my point where the animation is at 180 or negative 180 but I can quickly delete the other keyframes to make it an actual curve, which I can then just from the, from anywhere really just export and it will automatically export the FBX or the rig in case you, you know, click the buttons and create the rig and everything else. Uh, this is meant just as a quick way to manipulate the curves. This new add-on is also going to be available as a separate import export under the import UE4 FBX and export for UE4 FBX if it is installed. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the new add-ons and uh, the separation of the two plugins and that it helps you guys produce same quality materials as you would with Maya and uh, um, 3D Studio Max as it does for me and for my company. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have questions, you can join us on the Unreal forums. Have a great day.